Hello YouTube. Um, I want to do kind of a follow-up of sorts to a video I did a little while ago about this product. This is the uh, Music Nomad Tune It uh, Every String Change, which is a string lubricating product. It's a like a Teflon impregnated grease. You use it on the nut and the bridge saddles and other places. Well, those places on the guitar, um, so that the guitar the strings aren't pinching, uh, getting pinched by the nut or caught up in the bridge saddle causing the guitar to go out of tune, especially when using like a, a tremolo or particularly a vintage style tremolo like the one on this Strat. And I'm gonna put some video in from that video, some video now from that review video I did of this product to show one of the problems that I was having and trying to correct with that product um, where when you bend a string, um, the, the, the string goes flat but then if I use the tremolo, it brings it back into tune. So every time you bend, it goes flat, use the tremolo, it comes back in. Kind of, kind of tricky to um, play like that. Same with the B string, right? So the string's in tune, I'm gonna bend. And you can see how flat that's gone, right? Use the tremolo. B string's back in tune. So recently, uh, I actually tried another product, and uh, I want to show you that now. So I'm sure many people will be familiar with this, but this is a this is the uh, Graftech uh, Tusk XL uh, lubricated string tree, right? You can see the old one in here too. This this one is the, the one that was on the Strat, and the, this package comes with two of these. But this is the one I've put on the Strat here, and you can see it right here. So, uh, I, w I was watching one of uh, Ryan's videos from 60 Cycle Hung with a Squire guitar. He was having a similar problem. Okay, well, at least a problem keeping the guitar in tune. And he actually just took the strings out of the string trees. He actually had these Tusk XL nuts, uh, string trees on, and it was not helping him. But with, for his video, uh, for, for what he was doing, just taking the strings out of the string tree uh, seemed to eliminate a lot of his tuning instability with the tremolo. So I had I had actually ordered a pack of these a long time ago and never installed them. But I decided to try this on the guitar, and it's a easily it's a it's a two minute modification, a two minute reverse uh, mod, a uh, reversal of the modification. Should you not like it? Anyway, uh, so I've got this on the guitar now. This is a this is the Tusk XL Tusk XL permanently lubricated nut. Uh, it's made from, from something, plastic and graphite, who knows. And, um, yeah, so it doesn't look like the old string tree. I'm getting used to the look. But it seems to really be helping with the tuning. So you saw the video that uh, I just showed with the, uh, after when I was experimenting with the Tune It product. Let me show you what it looks like now. I'm going to turn the tuner on. Let's get where you can see this. Turn the tuner on. And you can see the B string is in tune, more or less. And I'm gonna bend. And you can see it's still in tune. Still in tune. Use the tremolo. Still in tune. And it's the same thing with the E string. Uh, you can see the, the E string here is in tune. Still in tune. So it, it, this product, the Tusk XL uh, string tree, seems to have all but eliminated that issue that I was having. And I can tell you, this guitar stays in tune remarkably well. Now, I've got it set up to fully float. You can see that. So I can go up or down. Uh, now, it, it's there's still the stock nut on here. This is not a Tusk XL nut. I am using this product in the nut and on the bridge saddles, uh, which seems to work well. Uh, it was just, I guess, uh, really an issue with this vintage style tr string tree. Again, this one. Because not only is this just like a bent metal that I think the string can catch under, even though I was, I was using this product underneath that. So I had lubricated that string tree too, but it wasn't enough. The other thing is, is this holds the string down at a very, there's no spacer between this and the headstock. It's just screwed straight to the headstock. So there's a, there's a, a very severe angle uh, as the strings go underneath it. You can see the angle here is not nearly as sharp now. If that's showing up. So the strings were much more like this with the old string tree, right? 
So it just seems to take that friction away. Plus with this lubricated string tree, uh, that seems to help too. So I'm not crazy about the way it looks, uh, but again, it's a quickly reversible modification. It's inexpensive. I don't remember what I paid for this, but it seems like it was around $10 maybe for two of them. Comes with new screws. And it's something that you could always take right back off in a couple of minutes and go back to the old one if you wanted to. So yeah, I definitely recommend that on a guitar like this with a vintage style string tree if you're having trouble keeping things in tune with, when, when using the tremolo. So, yep, there you go. Thanks.